Okay, so we're down to three carbs. Uh, I think I'm going to be dying here pretty quick, but... Um, oh, look at that. A mushroom. I wonder if that'll keep me alive a little longer. Three mushrooms. Let's go... Uh, I think it will. I don't know what happens when I run out of carbs. I don't like... Or protein. Does my, I think my health starts going down slowly. So where's my fire? Did I ever build a fire here? I don't think I did. We'll put it right there. So one stick, six stone. I might have it here. Just need a stick. All right, let's have a look here. Let's get this started and cook up some mushroom. Right now they give me plus three. I think I, I can cook them and, and make something out of them. So we'll see what happens here. I might actually make enough to stay alive uh, down to two carbs. And my protein is getting a little low now too. Yeah. Okay. So plus eight, uh, but the thirst is minus five, which isn't good, but it's better than uh, dying of starvation here. Yeah. Look at that. Back into the yellow. That won't last long. All right, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. I've come up with a new plan here. I think I'm going to pack it up and head back north to the uh, to the trader. Oh, I'm trying to make some room here. I can get rid of that. I just need room for that toolbox. So here's my plan. So I got to thinking here. The One of the biggest problems that I have is, well, clearly I'm running out of food and stuff, but like purifying water, my stamina is really hit hard by drinking dirty water all the time. I do have one gastric medication or medicine. And the one thing I'm looking for is to make an iron pot. And I can do it through my skill tree, but loot in this game for me is terrible at the moment. So... What I'm going to do is, on the map, I'm going to run back up to the car repair port trader there. That's an ore field. I, I didn't even think about it. There's tons of iron and clay around there. I can go ahead and make a furnace and ma start making iron ingots and go ahead and make that pot. Like, I can make a bunch of iron tools, too. I kind of totally screwed that up. I should have been thinking. So, let's see if I... I shouldn't talk too much here. Let's see if I can get back up there. Am I just run up the road here you know it's going to take forever to get into this little village here i've already tried once and and i kind of screwed that up by logging off and logging back on and all the zombies were back so i went through a lot of trouble not only that but i want to keep an eye out for mushrooms uh because if i cook them i can get a little bit of uh, a little bit of carbs out of them i might actually make it I just have to be really careful here and hopefully the mushroom spawn is in my favor and I can just keep uh, eating and cooking them on my way back. Shouldn't get too close to there. Those guys, they come for me. I'm going to be in trouble. I'm hurting pretty bad right now. So yeah, that's like I said, that's what I was thinking. I was, I was by... I had already built a bed and a workbench and, and everything up at that other trader there. I could go ahead and make a furnace, and uh, mine some ore there, make a bunch of iron tools and iron weapons. I think I need animal skin for that next bow, so or animal fur, so I'll have to keep an eye out for uh, elk and that sort of thing on my way back. I do have to worry about the bears and the boars. There is a spawn up there, but I'm going to try to avoid it. Oh, I see another mushroom. Look at that. We'll take that one and another one too. So all I really have to do at this point is build a fire and cook those. And I should be able to bring that up another uh, 16 points. That's pretty good. Just have a quick look around here before I get going. Oh, I see a medicinal herb. There it is. Starting to get an eye for those. 
Uh, I wouldn't mind another mushroom or two. But I think that's it. So we'll uh, we'll grab the bag and keep going here. Actually, let's build a fire. So I need one wooden stick. Really don't want to use up that steel axe, but did that go into inventory? I don't think so. I'm so full here. Uh, my spear can go. And I'll see if I can... Yeah, that worked. And we'll go ahead and fire that up. Get that mushroom on. Did I not get the other one? Oh, I must have uh, not had room. Okay, hopefully I can find it on the ground there. I'd be lucky if I do. There it is. Oh, yeah. Let's see if there's enough fire left to cook that up. There we go. And I think I'm going to try to get back a few rock here. I may as well. Just have a look at the map here. Yeah, I better actually, I better start heading in this direction here. But before I do that, I better fill my bottles because I don't think I'm going to get another opportunity to do so. And also what I'm going to do here is I'm going to eat up that gastric medication. Man, if I just had a pot, I could, I could fix myself, but I don't. So we'll go ahead and get some more. Just drop that, get cleaned up. All right, let's head back up to that trader. Hopefully we make it before I die of starvation. I guess there's no point in eating that medication right now because I'm in the yellow on two, uh, on protein and carbs. And because of that, I'm just going to lose my stamina anyway, so there's no point. But I will regain it a lot quicker. If I eat it, I'll get there faster. Boy, is that ever tempting. But I got to be able to make up yeah, I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it because I'm full on water and I should have enough time to make a pot. I should have enough time to get there and make a pot before I run out of medication or uh, water. I think, oh my goodness, please, please let this work. Yeah, you can see how much faster my stamina is coming up now. So that's great. Just got to keep an eye on uh, wildlife here too. I don't have any room in any packs. So if I see uh, deer on my way, I'm going to just have to take note of where they are on the map and then come back for them. Because there's no point in trying to skin, skin them or kill them. Because uh, I have zero room. I have no room. I mean, I can get rid of some rocks and stuff, but... That's kind of my emergency stash. Sure would like to see more mushrooms in this game. So I did do some reading and uh, about the loot. And I did test the loot in that area there uh, to see if uh, I was affected by the zero respawn. And uh, loot just disappearing off the map since the last update there. And I, I don't believe I was. I think... Um, if I go into any buildings and I, and I loot, I should see something. I should see loot. I shouldn't have to wait until the next respawn, which doesn't exist for me because I'm, I'm set to zero respawn, right? I haven't changed any of that. So I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. And I don't feel like restarting because it's taken quite a bit to get to this point, even though I'm not, I haven't really progressed at all. I'm, I'm barely, barely surviving. I've uh, succeeded in barely surviving. I was really worried about that bear or boar spawn. Boar wouldn't be too bad, but I do have it on three times spawn, so there would be three times as many bear and three times as many boar and three times as many wolves. Wolves are generally in packs, so that would make for a lot of wolves. I wouldn't, I, even if I was decked out, I'd have a hard time dealing with like 12 wolves. Or however many there would be. Oh yeah, okay. I see an elk right in front of me there. So, just have to remember it's just south of my bed there. The only problem with this... Oh, there's quite a few here. So, there should be three times the amount, right? Yeah, and I see some more off in the distance there too. This Okay, so I've got tons of protein over here if I need it. Which I will, because it looks like I'm running short. I should have a can of food at uh, at my uh, camp up here. Yeah, I think I got a really good plan here. 
I think it's gonna work. Just to get a pot. All this just to get a pot. I've come to the uh, unfortunate realization that looting homes and there it is. There's my camp. Looting homes is really, really, really hard to justify doing it because the chances of getting any loot in there after killing like a hundred zombies to to get into one house or or whatever, um, it's almost nil. Okay, let's store some of this stuff. Oh my god, are you attacking me? I don't want to kill you because I want to save that meat. There's a rabbit there too. Yeah, I just need some room here. Okay, so we need a pick, right? We'll make a pick. Actually, you know what we should do is we should make another workbench and have double the storage here. So we need a toolbox. Uh, oh, I need one more log. Okay, I'm just going to save my game because I'm paranoid and... We'll go ahead and store my weapons in here that I can't really use anyway. And we'll craft a pick. Actually, I can craft it in here, can't I? Oh yeah, I never really used this for tools before. Plus I'll get some skill skill for that too, some points. Okay, we got a pick. And we will learn that. And we'll make a furnace. Five log and a few more clay. And I, get, I only got sticks from that. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, let's get those in there. And we will get some iron. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Like, it's... This makes it a lot easier for me. I should have done this right from day one. So I'll wait for that to cook. And what I'll need is... Uh, two brick for that. Oh, you know what? Let's... Hmm. So I should probably... Do this first. How do I get brick? What do I need for brick? I need three clay. Metallurgy level one. Okay, <laughs> here we go with the skills, right? Okay, so in order to get that, we are gonna cook up some. It's the fastest way to do that, I think, to make charcoal. And unfortunately, I gotta sit and wait for this, so I'll go ahead and fast forward. I'll probably be close to dead. Uh, I do have a can of food though, but I got to keep this window open in order to get the skills, right? Yeah, that's the only way I'm going to be able to do it, I think. Unless I go to a trader, but I don't know what trader sells or does metallurgy. I'll have to, I think this guy here, Mike, does uh, weapon crafting. I'll have to double check the map. All right, there it is, Metallurgy 1. So now, look at my uh, protein and carbs are really low. Uh, I do have a can of food. I'll have to try to dig it out. So let's look at learning brick. We'll confirm that, and we'll just load this up because I'm going to need, I think, like 15 brick for the furnace. So I'll try to get as much in there as I can. Sure.
So we got one, we need one more. Uh, they do take quite a while to make, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna need quite a few. Uh, I may as well just keep collecting the uh, uh, clay and some stone and, and try to get 15 brick made. I'm pretty sure that's what I need. I'm gonna have to get some sleep, man. I'm gonna be, this is gonna be so close. It's gonna be so close. I do have two iron ingots. I might be able to get to get ahead of the game here a little bit. So simple parts, I can go ahead and learn that. I need mechanics level one and an iron ingot. Hang on, let's just make sure we can get that furnace before we do anything else. And then I need an iron nugget to learn iron ingot, which is in here. I'll have to produce one first. Okay, so we'll do that first here. 80 seconds per, huh? Okay. So once I get that, just make sure I'm not going to waste that iron on anything I might need. I could go for the, well, I'm going to have a lot of iron ingots here, so I should be okay to do whatever I want. I think I'm just trying to think this through here. I should be good. So we'll need simple part learn, and then we'll learn this one. And I think it's not three. I think it's actually uh, five ingots to make a pot, which is so expensive. And that's done at the workbench, right? Oh, it's only two iron ingots. I thought it was, I thought it was more than that. I remember I had to make a bunch of them. I think I had to make like five of them for the uh, canteen on the other uh, game. Where's my nugget? Still going. Yeah, I thought it was more than that. I wonder if that's come down a little bit. So only two, that's great. And we'll learn iron ingot. And that's done in the furnace. So I'm going to need brick for that. Man, so much to do. Hey. I really should have some sort of a, a dealio here to, to put all my stuff into. But we're, we'll are we'll just put it on the ground for now. All I'm after really is a bunch of weapons and stuff before I move on from here. Because I, I am going to move on from here. I'm not staying here forever. And we have to keep track of the day too, right? Uh, if this guy doesn't have a car repair kit, we've got to go back to the other merchant. Put the furnace out here somewhere and then we'll make sure we can use it in the rain oh is that not i think the ground here is very uneven so i'm gonna have a hard time building things here maybe i'll try it up here i don't want it that far from the other uh from the uh, red furnace there but i might have to do it here i should do the this guy here first to find out yeah i'm gonna have an issue with the rain if i don't put a cover over it right Man, it's like the only spot. I don't even know if I can build the uh, the stone furnace under this here. Oh, yeah, I should be able to. Like, how messed up is that? That's like the only spot I could put that post. Unless I moved over to uh, different ground here. Okay, and we'll get a roof. We'll make it one of these. Yeah, there we go. Now, I know it's hokey. I won't have a post on the other side, but it, it's, you know, it is what it is. You'll just have to use your imagination. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that. There's a reindeer trailer. I don't know how you pull that, or maybe you, uh, I don't know how to use that. That's really neat. Anyway, um, I'm going to die if I don't pay attention to what I'm doing here. Can I get another one in just to make it look right? I probably won't be able to, so yeah, it is what it is. Unfortunately, let's grab some food. I should have some food. I thought oh, there's some chili there. Doesn't give me a lot of carbs, but it should keep me alive, I think. Grab some sticks. Let's turn up that brightness a little bit here. Wow, you would never guess that it was, uh, well, no, it's about to turn daylight. Did I just do everything in the dark? I think I did. So we got to turn that back down because it's going to get really bright. Okay, let's get this going. That should keep me alive long enough to maybe lay down for an hour. No. Why did that only... What happened there? I wasn't paying attention. Didn't I put two stick in there? Why did that burn out so quick? Too wet. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Really? Like, right now, this is happening to me?
Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I can't believe it started raining. No. <laughs> I've never had all three red before, I don't think. Maybe when I was sleeping there, but... And this is going to need some planks and fiber. I can make plank in one of these. Oh, I still have to learn plank. Oh my god. Right there. So I need a log. Wow. This is crazy. I don't think that fire's... Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to have to get rid of this. How many did I need? Four. Perfect. All right. Please. Please be enough. Yeah. That's so ridiculous. I can't believe at my dying, like, last minutes of, of life there, it starts raining just to show me that this game is being unfair <laughs> right before I'm about to eat some food. All right. So we're going to get a little extra stamina, stamina recovery. I could have, I guess I could have eaten it right out of the can too, but there we go. That's a nice boost. I can't believe I'm calling that a nice boost. Wow. All right. Ah, back to work. Let's get that furnace built in here. If I can get it to turn green. Try to get it. Yeah, something like that. I might be able to fit that uh, campfire in here too. Okay, stone, clay, brick, lots of brick. I'm going to need another pick here real quick. I'm so close to that pot, like that iron pot. I can, I'm going to die of thirst. So like that's, that could be a thing too. Oh, that's silver. I need, uh, I need clay and stone. Just got to get that water boiled. Just got to get it boiled. I need that pot. Oh, there's a stone here. Yeah, my uh, little shelter there looks hokey, but I mean, can you blame me, honestly? I guess I can move it over to satisfy, like, my own mind, because I don't I don't even like the way that looks, personally, but it, it, I, I'm just going to have to go with it. I mean, I guess if this was a real-life situation, you can actually make that that work. I mean, you could do it. It would not be very secure for very long but and now we're just short on the brick come on brick I got five. Oh wow that's not bad that's a little more than i i had expected make sure we have enough stone and clay in there so what i need to do is i actually i need to make this and then i still got to break down the ore into uh nuggets and then the nuggets into iron bars <laughs> so much to do I'll try not to sprint around just to conserve some uh, fatigue. I think my fatigue goes down a little faster from sprinting. I suppose I can build a second furnace too, just to get the iron started, right? That might not be a bad idea. Twenty clay, fifteen stone, and uh, five log. <laughs> it's crazy. It's just crazy to think how much I'm suffering right now. Okay, uh, let's finish this up. I need another pick, which I have there. And what am I short here? Stone and logs. Oh, I got nailed. Not too bad. I could just wait out this last brick here. And that's done. Oh, I still need two more. Okay. Uh, I just need a couple of stone here. And we can go ahead and start the iron. We're so close to getting that iron pot, but we're also uh, pretty close to... Well, I, I should be able to make it. I think I, I'll be okay here. 
I gotta look for some more iron ore. Some loose stone on the ground. That stone furnace should break down the um, the iron ore a little faster, I think. There's a log here. Yeah, I'm kind of eating up all the iron ore around here, it seems. Now, I'm curious if this stuff, if the landscape stuff will respawn, like the, uh, the trees and the rocks and that sort of thing. And if it does, all I got to do is leave and come back and the, the ore should be back. And that's by game design. I don't agree with it, but... I may as well use it. What is that little shack across the street there? How come I'm not living out of there? Okay, we're good there. And we'll go ahead and start making some nuggets here too. I've only made one so far. It's so slow. It's so slow. Man. Okay, we should get this fired up and make some in here. That didn't give me a lot of fuel, but this should be they should be able to make the nuggets twice as quick in, in this guy here. So I'll pull some of the uh, ore out of these guys. All right. Uh, yeah, it's just a waiting game now. Oh, I got charcoal. Like, can I use that for fuel? I'm not sure. I don't think I've ever tried. Oh, I can too. Look at that. Okay. So that's uh, a lot more efficient than the logs, I'm sure. I didn't do the math on it, but I'm guessing it is. So we'll leave that in there. And put these guys over here. See how we're doing on nuggets. So I've got one nugget so far. I thought I had a second one. Uh, I don't see it there. Oh, here we go. All right, so we'll stop production here. Make an iron... Like, look at that. Two minutes for one iron bar. It's crazy. Actually, I have enough to make both now. There we go. Now, let's see if I, uh, if I survive long enough. Now, if I go to sleep for an hour, uh, that should continue to work. Let's see what happens if I sleep for an hour. Oh my god, should I even... I don't know if this is a good idea. So that broke. What the heck was that all about? I went to sleep for an hour and it just kept going. I couldn't, I couldn't get out of there. Damn it. Like that really screwed me up. And it was the game's fault. I swear the game is like trying to get me to die. Well, of course it is, but... Two minutes for that. That was so bad. Yeah, I had it set for uh, one hour, and uh, and it just kept going and going and going. Beautiful day out, though. It's a nice day to die. Uh, what are we doing here for video? We're good. Yeah, it's a real beautiful day. It's a nice, nice view for a slow death. Why did that reset? I hope that didn't reset. I should have another can of food here somewhere. I do. I should be able to build a fire too. <laughs> All the red. I could probably take an antiviral. It's not sure if I should yet because I, I don't know how long I'm going to survive. As long as it's still in the white, I should be okay. So water is our biggest concern right now. And we're just waiting on that pot. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Look at that. All the trouble I went through to get this happening. Finally, fresh water. I should have done this right from the beginning. It's been quite the experience getting to this point, though, for sure. Like, quite the experience. So happy. And I've got two bottles. They won't last long, but... Like, I've also got two bottles. That's fantastic. That was uh, uh, good finds. I believe I got those out of vehicles. I can't remember exactly. Could have been one of the houses, but I think the vehicles gave me most of my loot. Yeah, surviving. Yeah, I'm going to have to make my way to uh, some water. 
Uh, I don't know if I can make a rain catchment system. I don't want to stick it out here too long, right? Wooden sticks to learn that and planks to learn that. I mean, I could make one, but I, I don't want to stay here. I want to be able to head back to the other trader. Like, this isn't going to be my home. What I really want is some iron ironing it so I can learn some better weapons here. So we'll queue that up. We'll queue this one up. Make sure we're good to go. Oh yeah, look at that. I guess all that sleep helped uh, get through some of that stuff there. Maybe we'll grab a little bit more if I can find some. And uh, and then we'll go out and try to kill some, some deer. And I'm not doing it for the protein or the meat, but I will eat it. I'm more doing it for the uh, skin. I want the skin so I can make the better bow. The problem with that, the only problem with that is that the bow will uh, deteriorate. Like it, the durability on it will go down and it will disappear on me. And having to find uh, fur every time I want to make a bow kind of sucks, right? There's a rabbit there. Oh. There they are. Let's turn my brightness up. Oh, I got him. Right in the head, one shot. And I've got that iron knife I found. i got to swap my items around here. It kind of confuses me. Okay, so there's one skin. I should get a skin out of this. Oh, it fell on the ground. I don't have room. Oh, and a trophy. What a waste of space. Oh, I forgot to put that iron. Okay, so let's drop that and uh, try to get that fur in here. I want to keep all this meat because I want to eat it. Like, I'm going to eat all of it. Okay, there we go. Let's run back to my camp. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get that rain catchment system going because I could at least boil the, the meat and get some broth. So we'll make a little more plank. We'll drop this stuff off. We got one so far. Uh, what else do we need to get rid of here? A little bit of... A little full here. I'll need water for this meat though, right? Um, so I gotta work towards that ring catchment system now. I got some fiber. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it actually. I don't. I think I need a lot of uh, cloth fiber. So we got our plank. So I need to learn that one. I need engineering level one. Engineering level one. And in order to do that, I need to build stuff. And what do we have here? We have... Uh, <laughs> it's not happening. Okay, it's not happening. I can't do it. So I'm going to have to run out for water. What am I low on here? Protein, actually. Let's uh, let's cook one of them and get some protein out of it. See what I can do here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to compare the two. There isn't much... You don't get much for, like, one piece of meat cooked on the fire. I've got some sticks on me. And I really don't want to waste the water... But I'm going to do it. I think this will just give me broth. I never really paid attention to this sort of thing before. Like the cooking aspect of the game. Because I never needed it. I always had food. But now I'm, I'm going to run out. Right? The whole map is going to run out of food by day 40. And we're almost on day 9. So this will give me 10 protein. Which isn't too bad. But minus 5 thirst. Oh, did I not hit the button? So we'll go ahead and consume that. Just to get out of the red. And this should give me maybe 15 protein and help me with my thirst. 5 carb, 15 protein, 15 thirst. So that's pretty good. I mean, it's not great. It's not a good trade-off. But compared to everything else I can do, that's pretty dang decent. Uh, and now I'm only low on carbs. Wow, that's great. So yeah, it does make a difference. Let's go see if I can find the, the logs in the rock and stuff I put on the ground here. Should be another stake. Probably run right by it, but... Oh, I think I see it there. Alright, let's get another one of these guys for the fur. Oh, I actually got him! I don't even know how. I was like aiming way high, but maybe that's why I got him. 
There's another one there, but I'm not going to get greedy because I don't have the inventory space and I got to keep running back and forth here. Let's just make sure I didn't uh, lose anything. And not only that, but I have to get this meat cooked up or something. I got to do something with it uh, so that it doesn't uh, go rotten on me, right? I've only got three days uh, with the meat here. If I can just get my carbs up enough, uh, I'll have double the stamina again. Oh my god, I'm surviving until the resources are gone, and then I'll have to move on. Okay, let's, uh, how are we going to play this? We have two skins now. Oh, I got a t-shirt. I might be able to do the rain catchment, but I need engineering, right? Okay, but if I broke that down, I should get some, I should get some stuff for it, right? I thought I had a knife in my hand. It's a, it's a little unnerving to dismantle clothing that I find because that t-shirt will never respawn again. That was the only one. So there's 12. I think I need, I still got to bring my engineering up. How do I do that? How do I do that? What can I make to do that? I have some arrows in here too. So what does it take to make a toolbox to make another bench for more storage? I would take mechanics level two and iron ingot. I can get there. Okay, so mechanics level two, I'm sure I'm close to that by now. Oh yeah, I'm no problem. Okay, so we can do that. Let's uh, let's look at that here. We need an iron ingot to learn that and then we can make another workbench. Or I can go down this tree and make that bow. I need one for there and one, yeah. Well, like, I'm going to end up with enough iron here. I should be okay. So we'll go this way. We'll learn the dagger. Weapon crafting level one. Holy cow, it's never ending. Uh, so we need sticks and rocks, right? So we're going to make the knife. Let's try this here. You know what? I'm going to make another... I'm going to make a stone axe because that steel axe is too good to be wasting on saplings. Saplings will just chew it right up and I need a stick which is in here that should bring my weapon crafting skill up pretty quick I mean not fast but this is the easiest way to do it. It's I think it's only 10 seconds or 5 seconds per knife. Let's see where we're at here. Oh wow, look at that. I am so close. So we no, we are okay, so we have level 1. Uh let's just get to level 2 here real quick. Oh, no, we just hit level one. I see. Okay, yeah, I looked at that wrong. All right, so let's learn that guy there. And I need weapon crafting level two for uh, this bow. So we'll go ahead and do that. I just need some more wooden sticks. So fishing might be a really good thing to get into also. It's uh, uh, dependent on egg agriculture there's the fishing pole which you can get at the merchant and uh fishing line which you can make uh, at the egg bench and also bait i believe you can make that at the egg bench too and bait's really easy to make i think it just takes plant fiber maybe uh there might be different types i haven't really looked into it but that's kind of what i i understand just from the limited uh reading that i did do so fishing is a really good way to, like, just to catch a fish and make a fish soup. The fish soup gives you 15 carb, 15 protein, and a certain amount of thirst also. So it's really, really good. Like, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to do that after I get kind of situated here. See if we got a car repair kit with the merchant here. I'm going to. Whoa, those went into the wrong. After we check for the next uh, spawn for the car repair kit, which should be tomorrow, um, we'll head down to the trader or to the merchant who trains egg, and I'm going to try to bring as many tradables as I can 
and get my egg skill up and we'll learn how to fish. And I think by doing that, uh, I should have what I need for food all the time. I can make fish soup and survive off of that. It's going to be tedious and annoying, but honestly, that's where I'm going to build my base is going to be down by southwest of us. I opened up the map, but I got to keep this window open to get my skill points up. Might as well get rid of some of these guys here. Probably weighing me down. I don't think these are worth anything at the trader. I don't think I can get anything for them. I could always go check, but I'm pretty sure anything you make is, is worthless at the trader. I might be able to get a little bit of rep reputation, maybe. I can slowly build that up, I guess. Man, if I had that rain catchment system, I'd be, I'd be good. I'd be good to go. I've got to run down to the water here, too, and pick up some... Uh, some more water into my containers here because I have one drink left. And those bottles aren't going to last because I'm going to be using them a lot, especially for cooking. Let's just see if these knives are worth anything. He doesn't have anything that I can use, uh, but we'll, we'll just see. Zero, nothing. All right. So how about for... Yeah, there's this too. I want to redeem kill reward. So now zombies drop uh, parts and those parts can be redeemed for weapons. Uh, giant teeth, zombie claws, venom, teeth. But I think this is kind of cool. There's some melee weapons here too. Christmas, uh, Santa suit, whatever. That's kind of neat actually. I don't know. I should actually try to get this and see if it adds any um, protection like for the winter. Maybe I can wear this during the winter and survive it'll look ridiculous but whatever works right i'm a little upset that they didn't put anything here like ammo like these weapons are great they're just the same weapons with different skins i guess it's just sort of a, a holiday treat i guess i'd much rather see like ammo and food and that sort of thing exchange those items for food and that sort of thing maybe they'll expand on this in the future anyway let's see if i can gain rep and zero reputation yeah okay well you know what i need to i don't want to clutter the ground so i'm going to give this all to him anyway if he'll take it and he will be my trash can because i don't have any plastic to make my own yeah that didn't do anything but whatever okay i'm going to get some water i'm going to keep an eye out for some mushrooms i have enough meat there to bring my carb and protein up uh probably into the white but not for very long oh i also have the uh, medicinal herbs so i can eat some i can drink bad water and just keep curing myself if i need to if i get desperate there's a farm there i'm guessing this is the closest water which is quite a ways away it's terrible all this rain and i can't collect any of it I'm not sure what brings up my engineering skill. I'm pretty sure I've got to build things in order for it to increase or go to a trader that uh, trains it. But I got to be careful with what I trade away because every time I die, I will lose those skills and anything that I learned. Man, why are there no mushrooms? Well, at least I can collect water. At least I don't have to live off of uh, running to the river every time I need a drink. Still hoping to see some mushrooms here. Running a little short on rocks around my uh, camp there. What I should do is down by the river is uh, build a little shelter and a fire and do all my cooking down there. Or move my camp to the water and just run back to the merchant when I need to. I mean, I don't necessarily need to be by the merchant right now. It's nice to have the ore field right there. I could split the difference and build somewhere in the middle. But I don't want to leave all that deer behind either, right? Just got to watch out for that bear. Still on my mind. I could really use a mushroom right now. 